Also in Putnam County, overcrowded and overwhelmed, volunteers and employees are struggling to take care of abandoned animals. The county animal shelter right now is over capacity and we've we're told that they have been waiting for help from county leaders for years. As On Your Side's Tristan Hardy reports, the upgrades are very much needed. The Putnam County Animal Shelter can't welcome any more animals. As soon as one finds a forever home, the vacancy is immediately replaced. Diane Sykes is a faithful volunteer, even if she wanted to. There's a rule at my house, if you eat here for three weeks, she can't house them all. You get fixed. <laughs> Sykes wants their temporary home improved because she says the current shelter in Palatka is outdated. You have to drive down a rutted dirt road past the sanitation trucks just to get to the shelter. She's not the only one who feels this way. At least a dozen letters were sent to county leaders begging them to do something about the shelter and the influx of stranded and abandoned animals. This is a no-kill shelter, so the cats and dogs are kept here until someone takes them home. Please, please. Hurry it up on this animal shelter. We've been waiting for years. The animals have been waiting for years. The employees have been waiting for years. Putnam County Administrator Terry Suggs says the county commissioner set aside more than $700,000 for a new shelter. He says in part, the project has been through a site selection committee which recommended a new site conveniently located near the Putnam County Jail where a partnership utilizing inmates can be implemented to help care for the animals. Sugg says the current budget is $677,000, but he didn't mention when the construction starts. Volunteers like Sykes hope a new facility will give shelters in Putnam County some breathing room to operate. But if we have a better, cleaner, more appealing, updated shelter, we'd also have more programs. In Putnam County, Tristan Hardy, First Coast News, on your side.